Hey guys, Mario here. So I went to the most amazing event last night. It was by chance a friend of mine goes, hey, do you want to see Kirk Cameron tomorrow? And I was like, uh, yeah, especially considering he was one of the leaders in California hosting revivals, hosting church revivals, hosting faith revivals amid the lockdowns. I mean, he was having a revival in the middle of the parking lot in Thousand Oaks and the city of Thousand Oaks is going, how dare you, they're clutching their pearls. And I'm going, I'm here for it, Kirk Cameron. I am living for the work that you do. And I'm going to be honest with you, I really wasn't a child of the, the TV era. I was really interested in cartoons. So Growing Pains really wasn't interesting to me. Um, obviously, I, The Full House got it, you know, I did see it. I did know who his sister was, Candace, and I'm loving the work that she does. So the Cameron family has been a very visibly, a very prominent Christian family in the last couple of years, and they become more so with these lockdowns. So when I was given the opportunity to go meet him, I absolutely jumped on it. So my husband and I went to this event and it's called CareNet and I had no idea that this resource existed here in my community. And what CareNet does is it offers an alternative to Planned Parenthood. And I feel that this is a model that should be used in other communities because I've long said that fighting abortion is going to take more than just a legislative approach. It's going to have to take a faith-based approach. And this particular company takes both a legislative legislative and a faith-based um, uh, uh, approach to it. And what they do is they both support the mother and the father. They offer them the opportunity for salvation and revival, but they're not going to force it on them. Uh, I believe that according to their statistics, they have saved 159 babies from being aborted in my local community. And they've had 50 professions of faith, which means that of the 100 and some babies who were saved, those parents ultimately converted to some form of Christianity. And it doesn't have to be Baptist. It doesn't have to be evangelical. This group, this, this, this organization pairs with multiple faiths and says, we will provide you the necessary support that you need, both spiritually, financially, and emotional and psychological. They have a full-time doctor on staff who's there. They provide free ultrasounds for women who are pregnant. They provide a surprise um, baby shower. And then in addition to the training that you get from for parents for teaching you how to be a good parent and you complete these courses you get mom money and dad dollars that you can spend at their private boutique to buy your child clothing and essentials and they will provide you anything that you can't afford this is a great organization so of course when they came time to say open up your wallets i'm going take my money take my money my husband and i are sitting here going we're gay men we cannot produce a baby so why wouldn't i want to support a organization that wants to make more babies i mean that just seems hand in hand i don't seem to understand why the lgbt or the gay community wants to support a organization like Planned Parenthood, when all they do is abort and destroy babies. They destroy lives. This is giving them an option, another avenue, and for them to choose life. I think this is a fantastic organization, not to mention the fact that I didn't even know this existed. And of course, I ran into followers. I ran into friends. More importantly than followers, I ran into friends because you're not just followers. As soon as we know your name, I will address you by your name because you are now my friend because you're not just some person on the other side of a screen. You are a real person who has real emotions and real feelings. So of course, I want to make sure that you feel like you are the most important person in the world because you make me feel like that every single day. So I want to thank you guys and those people who went up to me and said, hey, Hey Mario, I follow you. Hey Mario, oh my gosh. And we had a great time. And in addition to doing the event yesterday, I did go to a local eatery and they signed my petition. They said, yes, absolutely, we will sign it. And you know what? Why don't you come back tomorrow? Because I guarantee you all of our customers will sign your petition. Things are falling into place, ladies and gentlemen, and we're just getting started. So I hope you all have a beautiful week. And remember, choose life. And if you have any... Uh, anything extra that you want to give to an organization, a very good organization, look into CareNet here in the Antelope Valley. They offer support for women and an alternative to Planned Parenthood. I'll talk to you guys soon. I love you guys all. Mwah.
Bye, guys.